We need to talk. What do you think a town or a city or a house would really be like after a nuclear war and then 200 years of it being abandoned? What would it actually look like? How rusty would it be? How many things would still be inside it? How, how well kept would it be? How many objects would have survived that initial explosion? How many people would have lived in that house throughout those 200 years? How many creatures would have wandered in and, and kind of taken things out or tried to raid from the fridge um, or whatever it might be? And what I'd like us to talk in particularly about today is player houses. Very, very popular type of mod on the Nexus, and there are some fantastic mod authors. And I think it's a difficult thing to get right, because what some people have done is they've gone, look, here's the pre-war version of that house, enjoy! And I suppose if it's like a, a nuclear bunker or something like that, big steel door, that kind of makes sense. But when it's just like, you know, you're kind of walking around and you're kind of like, oh look, that's completely wrecked, that's completely shattered, that's got nothing in it at all, and look, a pre-war house, it just doesn't fit, do you know what I mean? It, 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 it jars the, 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 the mind. And also there needs to be a reason for that equipped house to be there. I, I've played a lot of Skyrim, and I'm sure you, many of you guys will as well, and uh, one of the things that used to jar me about Sky, Skyrim player houses is you'd just come across this completely empty but fully equipped house, i.e. no people there, no one claiming ownership, but obviously someone has taken care of this house. I mean, obviously, you know, the, the, the candles would be lit, the kitchen would be stocked, but there's no one in there. You know, it hasn't been raided or anything like that. And, and for me, I need like a, a reason why that player house is there, which can be done with a series of notes lying around or, you know, a, a something in the mailbox saying, I've gone to my sister's, I'll be back soon, or, or something. For me, I need a reason for that house to be there, and the look of that house has to fit with the surroundings. It needs to be law friendly. And this is my thing. You know, some of you will sit there kind of going, actually, no, I want the pre war look, or I want it to look perfect. I want to have like an, an institute bubble on the surface, and you, you go for that. You know, that's absolutely fine. But for me, I like to be able to live in it, and I like to be able to kind of feel that it, it is part of um, the world that I am exploring, and uh, to do that, I don't even have to build it, because I can just mod it. Welcome to Mod It. Now, player houses have become something of an art form over on the uh, the Nexus and, or, and to a lesser extent on Bethesda.net. People trying to put together the greatest player houses they possibly can, ones that have wonderful creations of decorations and so on. And, and the queen of this has to be um, Eleonora. If you've seen um, any of her um, faction-based houses, you'll know just how beautiful they can be. And, and I've used some in the introductions to some of my videos. You know where I kind of zoom out at the beginning? If you've ever seen a house that looks absolutely stunning, the chances are um, that was hers. Um, but she's very, very famous and popular on the, on the Nexus. And I'd like to draw your attention to one today that's a little bit less known. Has 105 endorsements, and it's called Sanctuary Player House Overhaul by Quaz30. And one of my issues with the Sanctuary Houses is nearly everyone that's made a Sanctuary Player House seems to have gone, look, here's the pre-war version. Here's the completely original version um, of this house from when you first kind of run out of it. But the thing is, all of these houses has been have been hit by a nuclear bomb. And you can see this is this is the almost kind of untouched sanctuary. There's just junk and rubble everywhere. And for me, a player house in sanctuary needs to fit that mold. It needs to be part of this wrecked environment. But we have a, a an ace card or a, a little kind of a additional bonus for our house though. And that's Codsworth, you know, you come out of the vault and you kind of go, oh, hello, and you walk down the road and there's your robot who has been looking after your house for 200 years. Now, supposing your house was completely blown up um, like this one here. We still have the sofa. We still have bits of bobs of the cookery. We still have the creatures trying to kill me when I'm trying to make a video. I am making a video here. Exactly. Exactly. Now, supposing there had been a robot looking after this house for 200 years, what would it look like? Well, the walls would still be a little bit battered. These objects would be repaired. I'm sure Codsworth would go around some of the other houses, because Codsworth tells you at some points that he's actually been to Concord. He would try and restock some of the shelves with the items that he had found, um, and he would try and make sure that you had a bathroom and a bedroom and, and so on. And what I really like about what this mod author has done is that he has that this house feels like a house that has been wrecked, 
and repaired. A bit like um, like you get in kind of like Diamond City and so on. And it's this one here. And you can't really tell from the exterior that it's that much different to any of the others. But when you get the closer you get, the more you see that this one has actually been looked after. Let's go and look through the window a little bit first. You can see we've got a, a more looked after bed, um, although the walls and the ceiling are still quite battered. Uh, you can see that the, the, the door has been put back on, or maybe even someone else's door. We can see that actually a pretty good looking car has been discovered. A little bit battered, but uh, looks like he's found a good one. Uh, the old car, of course, is now here at the back because, let's face it, our car would have been destroyed, but Codsworth tried to uh, fix it. He's obviously found his way to the vault and brought down various bits of vault equipment. So every Everything here kind of has a story. Every, every time, because you know, sometimes you look at a playhouse and you go, mm, "How would that be there? Why would that be there?" But remember, this has got a robot looking after it for two hundred years, and so the idea that he has gone and scavenged things to make your house a fully functioning house, because he's kind of expecting you to return, for me makes sense. So let's have a look inside. Uh, we've got um, a pretty much fully functioning um, player home here. Uh, we've got uh, a TV, which he's got working, but of course nothing's being transmitted. We've got a couch, which he's cleaned. I personally find the couch a little bit too clean, but if you don't like it, then all you need to do is uh, click on the couch, um, and on console you just type the word disable and it disappears and then you can actually just put in one of the more battered couches which is actually what I did on my um, my other save game you can also put enable to bring it back uh, you, he's got the fire back up and running we've got a little bit of alcohol around the place now nearly all of these are static decorations so you'll see as I walk towards them I can't interact with them or touch them so most of this is just decoration but there's a few things that are useful to us as the player. So first of all, we feel like we're more part of this environment and we can store some of our food in the fridge, although most of it is static. But this, the cooking stove, is actually a fully functioning cooker. We can craft things here, we can bake things here. Um, the bloat fly that I just battered before will now become roasted upon my um, my, my chopping board and, and and so on. Even a little bit of water in the uh, the sink where he's been uh, putting together, and you can drink from that as well. Uh, as you can see, here's the exit to the, uh, the steamer trunk where we can store various um, objects as well. Maybe he even tried to make a little buddy for himself, but it uh, didn't go quite as well as he'd hoped. And then we can move into the bathroom, fully functioning bathroom. Again, still battered walls, still looks like it's been repaired rather than just there initially. But we've got a fully functioning sink that we can drink from and a toilet that we can sit on complete with books, which is possibly my favorite touch of this whole player house, because who doesn't have a small library next to themselves on the crapper uh the the shower which we see at the beginning of the game is back there um the ammo um, the, when i first saw the mini nukes i kind of thought hmm would that be there but first of all it's functional because it's an ammo crate and secondly you don't have to go far out of sanctuary to find a um, a fat man so you know it's plausible that he would have found this and kind of brought it back uh the utility room has just basically been put some of the junk in i like the addition of the um the bed frames and things like that it makes it feel like codsworth been kind of moving things around to try and uh, fit everything in that he's kind of found as 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 we go a few little cat posters because cat posters um, We've then got um, a perhaps more now of a utility room Sean's crib's been moved to the side uh, We've got a chemistry station for making various things like kind of stim packs and so on um, And we've got a power armor station. It's not entirely clear of course why Codsworth would want a power armor station But you know shh, it works and it's useful. So um, Don't 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 knock it too much. By the way, if you install this mod later in your game it will still work but certain objects will be missing so for example if you've scrapped sean's crib it won't be here if you then add this mod in later uh same thing with objects like this one because in my first game i'd remove that object there and then it's not here but you can actually add them back in uh you just kind of got to rebuild and kind of slot them in um, but it's probably best for a brand new playthrough especially as this is sanctuary and then of course we've got the um, we've got this ammo here if i was to remove any bit of this i think having all the weapons there um, is a bit weird, especially as you know, you can't kind of interact with them. They're purely decorative, but but um, If you, there's always gonna be something in a player home that you're not so keen on or you don't like quite so much And if you want that much customizability, then you need to make your own player home It's as simple as that the game allows you to kind of make things so you know I'm, I'm not too keen on that one But I'm sure the rest of you, others of you will be like oh, yeah awesome because especially as you start your adventures The idea that you'd start storing weapons there kind of makes sense and then here's our bedroom uh, which has got a lovely little kind of a old-fashioned computer tape thing. We've got some kind of scraps on the wall. You know, maybe Codsworth has been investigating. Maybe we were investigating before. Even a little bit of public occurrences. Who knows where Codsworth got to? He's kept the bed made, which of course allows us to sleep, and some nice little touches of decorations that he's kind of found around the place and that we can kind of enjoy um, sleeping next to and uh, uh, being next to. And even another little uh, uh, bobblehead flipping around 
um, but looking all very, very, very nice again. Again, I would probably replace the chair with one a little bit more battered, but you know, minor, minor, minor things. Um, but I think it's a really nice player house. And if you agree, then of course, come over to the Nexus uh, Sanctuary Playhouse Overhaul. The link is in the description. Don't forget to endorse it. And uh, Quaz has got some interesting other mods as well, including some building stuff, literally called some building stuff, um, which I may take a look at um, in the future um, as well. Um, if you like the look of this, then do let me know in the uh, comment section. If there's any other player houses that perhaps need a little bit more of attention around the uh, the mod, then do let me know. Here's a nice little doorbell for you know <laughs> little ring chimes to you know get people links. The doorbell doesn't function anymore. Um, but for me, like I said in the introduction, this building has a brilliant combination of being law friendly, useful, and has a reason for its existence. Codsworth has put this one together out of the scraps he has found from the. Um, the wasteland and he even found time to repair the roof thank you for watching this edition of um, mod it um, and uh, do subscribe to the channel for um, role plays and build it's and mod it's and uh, all sorts in fact what we might try and do is recreate some of that building in one of these other buildings uh, for a little bit of a personal challenge uh, coming up soon you have been as always fantastic and you know what so was I goodbye